Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play Trailblazers. Trailblazers is a game for one to eight players. It is designed by Ryan Courtney and is being published by us here at Bytewing Games, so I'm especially excited about this one. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points. Points are earned by completing loops at your hiking, biking, and kayaking campsites. You can also earn points by completing objectives. Let's take a look at the setup. Give each player a hiking, biking, and kayaking campsite. Each player will also take a matching set of four player cards. Shuffle and select two in-game and two end-of-game objective cards. If playing with four players or fewer, select just one deck of trail cards. Otherwise, play with both decks. Shuffle the cards and deal eight to each player. The game is played over four rounds. Once each player has had a chance to look at their eight cards, they will each select one of their three campsite cards to play in front of them. Players will simultaneously select and play two trail cards from their hands. The remaining six cards are passed to the player to their left. Select and play two more cards, pass the remaining four cards to the left. Select and play two more cards and discard the final two cards. That is the end of the first round. The second, third, and fourth rounds are all played the same way, except for in the fourth round you won't have any more campsites to play, so you'll just lay your six trail cards that round. The cards are passed to the left for the first and third round, and to the right for the second and fourth rounds. So, after four rounds, playing campsites in rounds one, two, and three, and six cards per round, you will end with three campsites and 24 trail cards. So, what are the rules for placing your cards? All cards must be placed orthogonally adjacent to another card, no diagonals. Or, you may place a card partially or completely overlapping another card. The only exceptions are your first campsite, which is the first card, so it can't be touching anything else. And, you can never lay a card overlapping one of your campsites. So, this is legal, illegal, legal, and illegal. The paths on the trail cards do not all have to be matching in color, so this is totally legal. Your goal, however, is to create loops starting and stopping at a campsite, so you do of course want to focus on specific paths. So the point of the game is to win by scoring the most points through loops. So what exactly is a loop and how do you score it? A loop is a continuous path starting and stopping at a campsite. This is a loop. This is a short loop. This path is not complete, so it is not a loop. This path doesn't start and stop at the same campsite, so it is not a loop. To tally your score, simply count the length of each of your loops. Length is determined by counting trail markers, all these little symbols. So this is a length 2 loop. This is length 5. This waterfall symbol will be counted twice, since you pass the trail marker twice. So this is a length 8 loop. So, aside from scoring for loops, you'll also score for the two in-game and two end-of-game objective cards. In-game objectives. After placing your two trail cards on your turn, if any player has met an objective, they may place their player card in the highest available spot on that objective card. Ties are friendly, so if two players earn an objective in the same turn, they both play their cards to the highest spot. Once all three spots are claimed on the end game objectives, no other players can score for that objective. For end game objectives, at the end of the fourth round, all players will evaluate the objective and play their player cards accordingly. Again, if there are ties, both players play their cards on the highest spot, and the next highest earns the next spot. On to final scoring. Add the length of your loops and your end game and end game points. The player with the most points wins. In case of a tie, the player who completed the most objectives wins. If there's still a tie, both players share the victory. And now you know how to play Trailblazers. But wait, there is an Animals expansion, and an Adventurers expansion, and a solo mode, and an Adventurers solo mode, and an epic solo mode. Holy moly, that is a lot of content. I'm not going to cover that all in this video, but check in the details below, I will link that video there. Uh, check back a little bit later if you don't see it, it takes me a little while to create these things. But if you have any questions about how to play the standard mode of Trailblazers, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Until next time.